What's going on everybody? It's me, Matt from Casual Riders. In my last video, when I was sorting out my chain, you guys saw that I discovered this little bastard of a screw that is sticking out of my tire. The thing that's really ironic with this is I actually had a colleague get a screw in his tire yesterday. Today, it's my turn. It's causing a bit of a leak. It looks like it's a tech screw of some sort, so the head is probably still recessed inside my tire. So I'm gonna try and get it out with a pair of pliers for the time being. And then I'm just going to take the easy way out and plug it. So I'm gonna sort this out quick. I keep a plug set in my tail in case this ever happens to me while I'm out on the road for a long ride. Doing a plug is normally good for an emergency situation and then should be changed as soon as possible. I've ridden around with plug tires before, it's really not such a big deal, but if you are gonna be doing insanely high speeds, rather plug it and change it as soon as you can. So I'm going to do this entire job with stuff that I keep inside my motorcycle at all times. So tool bag, which has a rather shitty pair of pliers in it, but it'll do if you were ever stuck in a roadside situation. This bicycle pump, which believe it or not, I actually keep inside the motorcycle. These two thingy things, some seals and some tire glue, rubber cement. And yeah, basically, first thing to do is to get this pesky screw out. Now there's enough pressure in here for me not to need to pump the bicycle, uh, not to pump the tire right away. What I would then do, I should have probably prepared this beforehand, but you take the reamer and you actually, I'm in such a bad angle because I was focusing on filming. You would <sighs> plug it like so. Take these tire repair plugs, take your rubber cement. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the tire repair plug through this tiny little gap over there. You kind of gotta press it a little bit. You can see my hands are still dirty from cleaning my chain. Um, just squeeze. Pull that through, pull it about halfway. Then take your rubber cement. Oh, don't squeeze it all out like I just did. And you just want to get a good coating all over there, like that. Yeah? Then pull this out. This part's always a little tricky. <sighs> if you're struggling like this because the wheel is turning, you can put your bike in gear. I'm just gonna do a one-up quickly. I'm gonna tie off my brake lever so that I don't push my bike forward. And I just use my, my hairband for that. Now, I can apply some force. Oh, push the plug right through. I pushed the plug too far. Oh, that's a wasted tire plug. <laughs> don't do that. You don't want to push the plug right through. You actually want to catch it at about halfway. Sucks to be me, right? <sighs> Easy does it. So you want to do it till you've got about half an inch or 
about a centimeter and a half of extra and then you just pull black on the plug because you'll see this thing's got like a tiny little hole over there actually allows the thing to slip right back out and you can carry on riding now what I'll do I'll pump up the tire now the fun begins yes I'm pumping my motorbike tire with a bicycle pump Now ideally, you only want to do this so that your tire is hard enough that um, you can get to a petrol station so that you can pump up your tire. Um, and then ideally, you would either finish your journey or go find a shop to completely change your tire. Oh. Something that I oddly don't carry with me is this digital tire pressure gauge. I'm at 1.4 bars. I have to get it to at least two bars before I'm happy to ride on it before I can get to a petrol station to get it to its normal pressure of 2.8. Now, I think I've calculated it before that 50 pumps is like 0.2 bars. So I got to do 250 of these little pumps in order to get this thing up to two bars. So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. A few moments later. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Halfway there, that was 200 pumps. So my math is wrong. I gotta do another 200. <laughs> now imagine if you were stuck <sighs> about 100 kilometers away from the closest petrol station, you would probably still need to get this thing up to a rideable pressure of 2.6 bar. That's insane. Yes, the thing's got a little tail. Now you'll see what will happen is the first couple of kilometers I ride on this thing, it'll just flatten and stick. And then eventually it'll just wear down and almost be part of the tires rubber. Are we ready for another 200? More moments later. on four bars <sighs> I mean it's almost two I'm happy with that. Thank you guys for watching my my video of my sad sad fortune on the motorcycle. If you guys enjoyed watching me suffer this excruciating pain, my little mistake of overpressing this damn plunger thing, why don't you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that notifications bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. My name is Matt and I make motorcycle related content hopefully for you to enjoy. Thank you very much for watching this video and until next time, ride safe. By the way guys, 
I'm running really close to needing to replace my brake pads. So if any of you guys want to help out and support this channel, why don't you check out my Patreon or PayPal links in the description down below.